In order to take measurements, we must first create a file for the data to be stored on. With the CI900 turned on, use the up-down arrows and select File from the main menu. Use the right arrow to open the file menu. Make sure the Create option is selected and press the right arrow once again to open the file creation menu. This is where we type in a file name for the CI900 to write measurements. As you can see here, we can change the default letters that read File00 to whatever we want. For this example, we are using a banana, so in this case we will be labeling the file accordingly. Once we are done, we click Enter to save the file. The CI900 will ask us to confirm that this is the name we want for our file. Press Enter to save it. Before we start the initial loop, we have to open the newly created file by opening the file menu and then selecting Open. Now we look for the new file name we created, select it, and use the right arrow key to open it. When the word Done appears on the screen, this confirms that our file is ready for measurement. Now to start using the CI900, we go back to the main menu, select Measure, and use the right arrow to open. This brings us to the Sensor Status screen. This displays the file name and the flow rate, and as you can see here, it is initializing the automatic loop. What this is doing is waiting for the sensor inside the CI900 to stabilize. The match numbers in the upper right hand corner will start to increase after about 3 minutes when we start to approach equilibrium. This will reach 100 consistent measurements and then start an initial loop. Every time the CI900 gets a data point that is outside a very tight average, it drops back down to zero. Eventually, it will reach 100 consistent data points. This is when it enters the initial loop phase. This is a 3 minute self calibration, setting the background zero phase. The timer on the screen will tick down until self alignment has finished. Next we are going to look at what the banana looks like using the interfering gas trap. Starting at the main menu, we go into the setup menu, then chamber menu. Next we select chamber B in. Using the up and down arrows, we change the mode from off to special. This is where we set the time intervals for measuring and cleaning. For this banana sample, we are setting the measurement period to 4 minutes, and then the cleaning period to 6 minutes. What the CI900 is going to do is measure, clean, and then measure again. Next, we run a new initial loop for these new environmental conditions. To do this, we go back to the main menu and select Measure. As you can see in the rear of the CI900, it is bubbling. This initial loop will, as before, run for about 3 minutes before it gets close to 100 consistent data points. Now we are once again in the measurement phase. As we set before, the CI900 will go through 4 minutes of measurement and then switch over to a cleaning phase and measure once again. After the cleaning phase, we are left with our real-time measurement of the ethylene gas composition of our banana sample.